Welcome to beautiful Los Angeles, California, the Sixth Street Bridge. Today's adventure brings us to the Sixth Street Bridge, Viaduct Bridge. Maybe we're gonna be in Hollywood, and I invite you to join us. Shall you? You shall. So today I'm getting Stan, which is this one, and we got Ollie. But I'm riding the Ollie today, and Adam the Woo is gonna take Stan today. I like that you named him. Of course. First, I want to say Starsky and Hodge. I can name it all different all the time, but I thought uh, Stan, Stan and Ollie would be a cool name. I like that. So those are my bikes and my scooter. And today we're going to go ride it right here on the 6th Street Bridge. Look at this view right here. Military helicopter. You've seen that bridge here many times in my videos, but it's always nice to come here. There's not that many people driving on the bridge. Adam, what do you think about the bridge? That's the first time you've seen it. It's the first time I have been over this bridge in years since they closed it down for construction. And for years, driving from Orange County to LA, going down the 101, I'm always like, man, I want the bridge to be open. And it's finally open. It happened. Which one is better? The old 6th Street Bridge, the new one, what do you think? I like the design of this one, but definitely the old one has like more nostalgia, using all the movies and TV shows and commercials. I like the old one better, but I do like the design of this. This is a nice this is a nice replacement for the damaged original bridge. Yeah. I think it's a little bit too much concrete for me. Maybe they should put some colors on the side, I don't know, but at okay. night it looks much better. If you come here at night, you see it all lit up, it looks really nice. So Maybe you should come here back at night one day. I saw your videos from before when you were here showing it at night. It looks amazing. And I actually watched the video about the 6th Street Bridge years ago you did on the original 6th Street Bridge. I wasn't filming back then, but that's a really good video and you can check it out on the channel. What channel is it? Is the it Daily Woo. The Daily Woo channel. Check it out, the old video of the 6th Street Bridge. Normally, I'm the one who shows people around, but Adam has been around LA so many times already, so it's new for me, knowing that he knows LA as well as I know it, or even better. So it's weird to show somebody LA who knows already LA. <laughs> I like all those old lofts. I would love to live in one of those. And then on top, you can do the graffitis. There's a board ape right there, an NFT, and a big crow, I guess. I heard that the city is going to spend another 10 million on extending those fences a little higher. They haven't started yet. People can still climb up here really easily. I have not seen this sidewalk close yet, but you see all those skid marks here from bicycles or who knows what it is. But as you can see down there, they're fixing the fence. So that's why it's not open right now. And look at all those trains here. Man, I love LA. It's so hot today. Now I show you behind the scene of Adam the Who filming in downtown LA. How often you have the chance to see that? We should do something more daring and get in the scooter and the bike down in the LA riverbed. How about that? And we recreate Can we get down there? the scene from uh, Greece? Greece. Can we get down there? How do you get down there? There comes all the new lumber from Home Depot and they're charging so much. I used to buy wood for $11. Now it's the same wood as $42. I just checked last week. And look at all the old graffiti that used to be right here on that concrete. They're cleaning it up pretty good. And at one time I seen people sleeping inside one of those drain holes. Adam, you just said something in your video. What is that middle part called? In indentation. Indentation. Okay. I always love to watch Adam the Woo because he uses words I never heard in my life. Indentation. I would just say it's a lower part of the That's river. <laughs> yeah, but you explained it so good. And this is why I love watching your videos, man. It sounds always so good. I was like, man, this guy knows how to talk. Well, half the time of the words I'm saying, I'm probably not even saying correctly. But it's a fun word to say. It, it is. is and, indentation. And at w one time I watched a video of his, he was doing the Michael Jackson and he was explaining how the zombies came out of a manhole. 
I never knew what a manhole was, but see, those are things I remember for the rest of my life. Because of, of his video, I know what a manhole is, where the zombies came out, and I will never forget it. So I learned a lot from this man here, man. It's so pretty man, cool. Yeah, a manhole really has an indentation in the street. <laughs> so you could use both words, both terminologies. Man, I'm learning a lot here when I'm an American person here. That's, That's really right. good. Yeah, That's right, come on. There we go. They're doing a photo shoot with the art district in the background. They also have a police officer there who close down the street behind them. Pulling into the station. Probably away from the station. Have you ever taken the train? I've never taken like a cross country train. I've taken a train, like a short train. Like in Kissimmee, I took the train once to Orlando or that area, but I haven't taken anything farther than that. And that was a long time ago. I probably need it. Well, I've taken like subways, like subway system, those sort of trains, the MARTA system, the Chicago, whatever the one in Chicago is called. But as far as a cross country train, never have. And now you also know why his videos are always 40 minutes long because he explains everything <laughs> on the point, you know? <laughs> you, don't, he, he don't answer like, yes, I took the train or no. He's like, well, I normally took the train, but it's a subway thing, so now you know. How would you answer it? Uh, Venice. Have you ever taken a train? I never took the train in Los Angeles. I should do it. That would be an adventure, I think. That's precise and to the point. The last time I was here, they did not put the fence up yet. But they're doing it today and this is the entrance to the la river right over there so they're getting ready to put the new park here it's all going to be park area i just like the grinding noise that train makes underneath the bridge That's where they're doing the photo shoot up there. Normally I would ask the guy if I can have a piece of the chain link fence because he can do some really cool artwork with that. There's not really much progress since the last time I was here. The stairway is still closed. I'm learning from the best. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I always like to come to downtown. This is a matchup picture from the Madonna video Borderline. She was dancing right here, way before she was famous. And now Adam the Woo is dancing here. See, you never know what's happening in life. Something in the way you love me won't let me be. <laughs> crazy is what crazy does. How old are you? 48. <laughs> what does that have to do with it? <laughs> I should dance too. I never dance in the Madonna spot, so. No, it's awesome. I, I'm not gonna do that break dancing thing. I'd probably like pull a, a muscle or something. <laughs> but yeah, that's the best I could dance. I'm not a good dancer. And he just found out that there's another picture right here. You can see the small windows. Madonna is standing right here. This part of LA is called the Art District, and people. Did a nice painting on the staircase here. See, that's what I always say. I wish I had a model to take some pictures where all the graffitis are in downtown. He can take some really good shots here. Adam, you're living in Florida right now, but you came back to LA. Have you ever experienced a heat like this before? Yes. You a did? A couple times when I lived here, but usually I've noticed Southern California has a late summer. It's usually like October, September and October, where Florida has a hot summer in June and July difference between Florida and here, even though this feels like Florida, if you're in the shade, it's nice. Florida in the shade right now, not so nice. So the weather of Florida is not as good as here, you think? It's worse. It's way hotter. Okay. Southern California has the best weather of anywhere I've ever been. Best so climate. Nice. Yep. You heard it. If you don't know, now you know. Don't move to Florida. Stay in California. <laughs> I should have listened to you. <laughs> even though everything is super expensive here. Everything is so expensive. So people say, ah, oh, move away from Flo uh, from L.A. I love L.A. I don't want to live anywhere else but L.A. Well, everything's more expensive here, but you get paid more here. So someone that makes $15 in Florida, the same job here, $20, $21. So it kind of balances itself out. You got to do the math on it. So. All right. 
people start putting those love locks here on the fence on the six feet bridge remember when i showed you when they put those dividers up so people can't do donuts but here you can clearly see that they still do donuts right in the middle of the street so i don't think it really helps too much those little bumpers here people always steal those interstate signs And you know what the funny thing is? 10 years ago, I was watching Adam the Wu videos on YouTube, all the Back to the Future stuff. And I was always admiring him. I was like, oh my God, I wish I could go to those places. And look at this. Today, he, Adam the Wu is sitting in my car. Right so here. you never know what happened in life. So just go for it. Exactly. I have a leaf on my sleeve. Oh no, it's, a, it's part of the shirt. I thought I, like, I thought it was a leaf. It's like an emblem. He's <laughs> he's too funny, man. I thought it was a leaf. It looked like a leaf. And if you haven't experienced yet, one more time, I'm showing you how we go over the Sixth Street Bridge, heading to Hollywood. And since we're downtown Los Angeles, I thought we had to stop by at the Michael Jackson Beat It location right here. This is where he was dancing at the end of the video. Beat It, the staircase. You actually see this gas station in the video. Yeah, the door rolls up and the gang guys are fighting inside or dancing, it's not fighting. They don't, they don't fight, they dance. They dance. Yep. And this is the manhole right in the middle of a street. And you see right here where one of the gang guys came out. This is the sad part of Los Angeles, going straight to Skid Row. People still living in tents. And in the background, you see Los Angeles. Nothing much has changed here. It looks the same like it was a year ago. I watched a few of the Ghostbuster videos and Adam just told me. This is where the interiors from Ghostbusters, original Ghostbusters were. The exteriors are in New York City, the real famous firehouse in New York City, but the interiors were in LA right inside here, right inside this very building, which they are remodeling now, turning into a firehouse museum. Kind of excited. And very rarely is the, are these doors open, but they're open today. We drove by, said we should look in there. And the workers, construction workers, are very kind to let us walk right to the edge and look in. And you said they also filmed the mask here? The mask with Jim Carrey. This was the mechanic shop. Uh, there was like a scene he goes in and they were trying to like mess with him and they were like, didn't have his car fixed and they wanted to have some money. He wasn't happy. And he kind of did this like tornado spin around and took the muffler system and shoved it where the. the and they sun filmed didn't another shine. movie right here, you said. Rocky Three. A couple scenes were in Rocky. Actually. Rocky Three was also in your area. Over by the Santa Monica Pier is where the racing scene with Rocky and Apollo was, Eye of the Tiger, but also when Rocky and Adrian and Polly stayed in this very hotel right here. Right over here. Right here. Man, there's so much movie history here. Right here, it's good row, man. And like I said, it's always good to have somebody with you to tell you new stuff. So next time I drive by here, I will never forget. That's where they filmed Rocky Three. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. So as Adam just told me is the car parked right here. And this is where Rocky, Polly walked into the Lorraine Hotel. The awning was still here and you can see it in the movie. And this is the staircase 
where Sylvester Stallone, Rocky Balboa, walked up. Rocky just got out of the car here and they walked right into this hotel. See, the awning looks exactly the same. This is the old Hot Rock Cafe where they did the photo shoot for the doors. And they also say this was the pool, pool place where Michael Jackson did the Beat It video. But it's not really a safe place to walk around here. They got this really old print sign here. That looks incredible. Got this colorful bus here. Find some pretty good artwork down here though. We made it back to Hollywood to the Hollywood Methodist Church where they filmed Back to the Future. Even though I've been here before, today I'm here with Adam. Melissa was so nice to let us in. And I want to invite everybody to come to the Enchantment Under the Sea Dance. On what date was it? November 12th. November, November 12th. There's some really nice news. I can't tell you guys now, but try to get the tickets. I don't know when they're going to be available. Hopefully in the next two weeks. All right. Check back the website at hollywoodmethodistchurch.com. Okay. Hollywood UMC. Let me do the website properly. <laughs> so this was the gym where Michael J. Fox was performing. You guys seen it many times, but it's always good to be in here. How amazing is this, huh? Adam is doing what he's doing best, vlogging. And this is where Michael J. Fox walked out. They still have the pictures here where the door is. He was touching this, and this is where Leah Thompson was standing, Michael J. Fox right here. You've seen the videos before. Oh, there's a telephone. That is so cool. Adam, you're here now where Michael J. Fox was standing. What does that mean to you? Michael was down here. Well, he came down this, turned this, talked about the, you know, setting the, the living room rug on fire. Lorraine and George were here. It's like, this is, this is my Graceland, sir, <laughs> to quote Ace Ventura. I said, this is amazing. First time I was in here, this is the third time, but the first time in like five years. Just being in here is just such a cool vibe. A lot of people don't understand, but if you're a huge it. Back to the Future fan, you know what it means. I and you, it. And right. there double doors there. That's it right. Wasn't a single door. It's always good to come in here and see it again. And now we are back on Hollywood Boulevard. And I actually wanted to do a video about how is it to vlog with Adam DeWu. But we see so much stuff and you guys probably wonder how is it to vlog with him. So it's pretty awesome hanging out with somebody who knows a lot of stuff. You can learn a lot. But uh, this video is... I don't even know what to film in the beginning and now we have so much footage already and I really hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, I had a blast so far and now we're gonna walk up and down Hollywood Boulevard. Go tell them what we're gonna find. You never know. Welcome to Hollywood. What is your dream? They got this really cool mural here. Capitol Records, they celebrate 60 years of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Musu and Frank, and here are all the stars. There's a little statue of Charlie Chaplin and look who's sitting next to him. Since we already showed you a little bit from the downtown area of Sylvester Stallone's movie Rocky, there he is, Rocky. Charlie, how was it when Stallone was sitting next to you? Was it just like when the GIV is sitting next to you? Man, I got to do a vlog about you. He done a lot of videos in Venice and I matched up a lot of pictures already. So soon there's going to be a vlog about Charlie Chaplin. And right outside the Roosevelt Hotel, there's another plaque of Charlie Chaplin. Beware of danger. We got the red carpet for the blonde movie on Netflix, Marilyn Monroe. The red carpet is out. We're just waiting for the stars to arrive. Have you ever wished that you had a star on the Walk of Fame when you came first to LA? Or you thought you're going to have one? I never thought I was going to have one. It'd be cool to have one, but I never... 
I don't see my, I don't see that in my future. Not like but, a star. But YouTubers can get a star. Maybe one yeah. day, you, yeah, maybe if you're a really good YouTuber. Well, we're just gonna put it out there. If I'm gonna get a star, I invite you to see my star in the Walk of Fame. We just gotta put it out there in the universe. You never know. If you get one, I'll come back and get a video of it, and I'll get my picture. I saw Weird Al Yankovic get his star. I was here, and I was kind of up on the upper level over there at the food court. Uh huh. This star is over there, right over there. Okay. Next to the Hollywood Hollywood Land experience. Okay. Pound it. So. Yo, I'll be at your star. I'll be cheering you on. You're gonna drive me in my limo too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Should I invite Adam to a Ferrari ride for 149? Where is he at? He's all the way down there. He left already. I wanted to invite you, but you just kept walking. Wow, I didn't know that Keanu Reeves has a star right next to Sandra Bullock. We all remember them from the movie Speed. It's always good to be on Hollywood Boulevard. Look, the dinosaur is ready to go to the beach and surf. That's what you see in Hollywood, Mickey and Spider-Man. And this is where we're heading into, Mel's Drive-In. It's been here for a long time, huh? Many, many years. This is the old Max Factor building. But that's not the one from American Graffiti. I think that's the one on Sunset Boulevard, isn't it? No, that one's in Northern California, up near where George Lucas used to live up there in that area. That's the original Mel's, and there's another one on Sunset, and then there's this one, and there might be a fourth one, but I know there's at least three. Look how cool this place is inside. Adam is a joint. I got a salad, but I'm starting off with a chili. With the chili, and look at it. They got the little music box here where they play music. It's a pretty cool place here. And look at the nice Caesar salad. Adam got the same one, but he's still working on his chili. Cool. Yeah. Okay, for this I need Adam's help because I don't really know about the history of Paramount Studios. So Cecil B. DeMille made the very first movie and they used this building. If you watch the movie, it's not the easiest movie to get through. A little bit lengthy and kind of slow going, but it was the first movie filmed in Hollywood and they used this barn. Now it's called the Lasky DeMille Barn. But originally this was kind of the birth of Paramount Studios, which used to be not where Paramount is now, but over where Trader Joe's is now, between Hollywood and Sunset on Vine Street. And you can see Cecil B. DeMille right in front of there. Standing right in front of this door, right here. And if you ever go over to that Trader Joe's across the street on that corner, there is a small sign stating that this barn used to be there. It's kind of hard to see, but it is over there. I did not know, but now I know. See, this is good when you have somebody who knows this history of Hollywood. It says right here, this barn became a gymnasium. Michael Lennon, Steve McQueen, Buster Keaton, and a whole bunch of people worked out in this barn. Whoa, check out this nice Elvis Presley mural here. And a nice Marilyn. I love it. And if you ever want to stay in Hollywood, check out this VIP Hollywood Hotel. <laughs> How crazy is that? Check it out. Look, we got the Hollywood sign, the observatory. We got the Hollywood Bowl. We got the Disney. Concert Hall, Capitol Records. They got everything on this wall here. Only for VIP people though. Beverly Hills. Let me ask how much they charge. I think it's like $29.99 and you just get a shared room. There's the Yacht Harbor from Santa Monica, Universal Studios, El Capitan. And there he is, Elvis himself. He left the building. I'm all shook up, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. And when you're inside the mall, you can see the Hollywood sign. Look, they're kissing right in front of it. There's Kobe Bryant's mural at the Dolby Theater. And if you look a little bit towards your right, you see beautiful downtown Los Angeles. And look at this view here. walked around a lot today. We're right here on the stairs at the Dolby Theater where normally the red carpet is. Maybe one day you see us walking up here. Maybe. All right. I've been watching Adam the Who on YouTube for years now. He done some really nice videos I really liked about Back to the Future. That's how I got to know him. And you know, sometimes you like the people's style, the style they have. In his case, I really like how he talks. He sounds really educated, 
it's just nice nice to watch him that's how i feel there's some other youtubers i like as well i'm looking forward to see um video bob mostly in vegas i like him you know it's like i'm watching his videos for a while and it's always nice to meet people in person normally i'm like a lonely ranger i don't like to do videos with other people unless i know them like i do videos with louis i do uh, videos with tico and some other people normally i don't like to collab with people but if it's somebody i like and uh, he has an interest in doing a video with me why not it was a great day i had a great time and i'm always willing to do more vlogs well my friends that was it live here from hollywood what a great day we didn't expect anything i want to say thank you to adam to take me on a tour here i appreciate it and if you like this video you know what to do give it a thumbs up push the notification bell and subscribe to the channel and subscribe to his channel, Adam the Woo. I see you guys later. Tschüssing.